In today's example, I will show you how to set up OSPF on a 40 gate firewall. So obviously this will just be a basic OSPF uh, setup and con configuration on a 40 gate firewall. Um, so the OSPF will be configured between this uh, 40 gate FGT1 firewall and a Juniper, let's call it an enterprise core switch, right? So we'll have OSPF running between this. Then we will have a test PC which will have a directly connected route, you know, the gateway will exist on the enterprise switch as well. And then we'll be using IRB interfaces. So we won't be using rooted interfaces, you know, um, on on this, let's call it port zero, we won't be a rooted interface. So we'll use IRB interfaces for the layer three uh, portion of this lab. So quickly looking at the lab, we have a 40 gate firewall with internet access and an inside LAN interface towards the core switch. And then we have a client PC that plugs into the switching environment. Well, which is going to be like three basically. So we'll do all this routing using OSPF between the 40 gate and the switch and then directly connect the route with a default route on the PC to the switch. Okay, so we'll try and get end to end communication between this PC and the internet working through this network. All right, so first of all, let's start with the configuration on the switch. Once we are done there, then we'll move to the config on the 40 gate. So here I have a Juniper switch or virtual QFX. Let's configure this first. Go into configure, edit VLANs. So let's use VLAN 10 for, you know, for the PC side, okay. So VLAN 10, VLAN ID. Then, and we want to use a layer three interface. So the layer three interface is basically just sort of SVI or RVI or RB. You know, so many names for these interfaces, but it's basically just a software interface in the VLAN that can do routing. We call it RB.10. Right, let's just do a show. All right, so we have VLAN 10 towards the PC1. So let's configure VLAN 100. So VLAN 100 will be used for, you know, that point to point slash 30, you know, where we will run the OSPF agencies across. So let's configure that while we are in this uh, VLAN um, stands So let's go set VLAN 100, VLAN ID 100, layer three interface, IRB.100. Okay, let's do a show. All right, so now we've got our LAN facing VLAN 10, and then we have our um, point to point VLAN 100. Okay, so let's go to interfaces, top edit, in, top edit interfaces, IRP, set unit 10, family, INET, INET address. Let's make this 192.168.100.1 slash 24. And then set unit 100 family INET address. So if we look according to this diagram, we want to use 0 0.2 on the switch end. So let's configure that IP 192.168.0.2 0 0.2 slash 30. So let's just do a show. All right, so now I've got my rooted interfaces. We'll be using unit 10. This will be the gateway for the test PC, and this will be uh, the slash uh, 30 routable for uh, on one on VLAN 100 towards the, the firewall. Okay, so the next thing that we then have to configure is uh, let's configure OSPF top edit protocol. So OSPF, so we're going to be using area zero for this example. Set area, set area zero. Interface IRB dot one hundred. So you'll we'll be using RB one hundred for OSPF adjacencies. Let's do a show. Then let's just set let's set the router ID as well. Set routing options. Router ID. Let's just give it an idea of that. Go top. And now we have to go and tag that interface port zero xe zero zero zero. We must tag this interface for VLAN 100. Okay. Set unit zero, family Ethernet switching. 
interface mode. Now let's make it a trunk. Um, so the reason why I'm going to make it a trunk is if there's maybe a requirement where you want to use other VLANs, obviously on that uplink towards the 40 gate, then you can do so. So for now, I'll we'll just use it. Uh, we'll keep it a trunk. And we say uh, VLAN members, VLAN 100. All right, and then we should do the same for port one. Let's go up, edit, XE001. Let's just do a show. Let's delete that. Yes, set unit zero family ethernet switching interface interface mode. So we want to have access port towards the PC VLAN members VLAN 10. Let's commit and quit that. Good. Show Ethernet switching interface XC0000. So as you can see, we have VLAN 100, tag of 100, and it's tagged. And we have on interface 1, VLAN 10 as you know, tag, and it's untagged. Okay. So if we now go to our PC, we should be able to ping our gateway. So our PC is currently configured with 100.10, so I should be able to ping 101. So let's see if I can do that. All right, so as you can see, I can ping my gateway. So that's good. So let's just minimize that. All right, so let's see if we can get OSPF working. So I've already configured OSPF. The Juniper switch. All right, so very basic configuration is area zero and the interfaces can participate in OSPF. Um, so let's do this. I think if we do a Y shock capture, you go to interface zero. Yeah. Let's go to that interface quickly. Let's see if there's anything happening on this interface already. All right, so as you can see, we are already sending out hello packets, you know. That's the source 0.2. So we're already sending hello packet, you know, using multicast on that link. All right, so that's good. So we know that we are, you know, we're kind of already, you know, advertising. All right, so let's close this. And now let's go to the 40 gate. All right, so when you log into your 40 gate, so as you can see, yeah, currently there's just very basic configuration that I've configured on you, you know, just an IP address so that I can get to the GUI. As you can see, the rest of the interfaces, there's no config yet. All right, so if we go to on the network, you'll see there's only static routes. So you need to go and activate advanced routing if it's not done already. So you can just go to system, feature visibility, advanced routing, say apply. Now if you go back to your network, you'll see you have you know, more options available. So if you click on OSPF. Okay, so you can see there we have OSPF. First of all, let's just do the basic configuration. So what we want to do is we need to set up that, you know, that point to point. So let's start with that. So in this exercise, if we go back to the lab, so as you can see, we're using port two towards the switching environment. Let's configure port two. As I said, we'll be using uh, VLAN interfaces. So in this example, let's configure a VLAN interface. It's gonna call it LAN. And the VLAN that we use, VLAN 100. 192.168.0.1 slash 30. We can enable ping. So okay. All right. So now we have a LAN facing interface towards the switching environment with 0 0.1. So we go to the switch and we do a ping. Ping 192.168.0.1. As you can see, we can at least now ping the 48 firewall. Yeah. So. Now we can go and configure OSPF. So let's see if we can get OSPF operational. So now if you go to network, you go to you select on OSPF. And let's now start configuring OSPF. So we'll set a router ID of 111. The area that we want to configure in this exercise would be just area zero, no authentication. Then we'll come back to networks now. So let's go and configure our interface that's going to basically form a, you know, uh, neighbor ships. So let's click on create. And we can just call it LAN DR. 
and then we select our LAN, you know, that VLAN interface. Do hello 10, date 40. Okay. Let's apply this. So let's just see what's currently configured on here. So now, as you can see, that's just standard at the moment. Let's see what's happening on our switch at the moment. So we do a show OSPF neighbor. So as you can see, there's no neighborship. Let's perhaps see what happens if we do a package capture on in, let's go on port two. All right, so as you can see, we're still only receiving the, uh, you know, the hellos from the switch side. So let's close that and we go back to the 40 gate. All right, so what we want to do is we want to add that connected network, okay? So what I mean by that is this part. We need to put that in OSPF as well as part of the configuration. Okay, so as you can see, after I've put that uh, that network part, this network in OSPF on the 40 gate, the adjacencies came up. All right. So if we do a show OSPF, um, show root protocol OSPF. So as you can see, currently I'm not receiving any routes from, from upstream from the 40 gate, but at least the OSPF is up and running. So that's good. All right, so let's go back to the 40 gate and let's advertise a, a route to, you know, to the switch. So we want to go to static and let's create a route towards Google's 8.8.8 slash 32. This gateway would be 10. Zero one. It's okay. Before I activate anything, so let's just see if if anything has happened so far. So apart from no SPF, that should still be up. No roots at the moment. Okay. So let's go and we say we want to activate static roots. Apply. All right, so now we have a static route. So if we do a ping, ping towards 8.8.8. All right, so even though we see the route there, which we know do exist, we can't ping. So that's probably going to be due to security policies. So let's add some security policies. Let me just get that right to internet. And so obviously the inside facing OSPF interface where the traffic will come from and go back towards two. Port one in this case is our WAN facing interface. So let's just say we want to do all and we want to do all, all services and we want to enable NAT. Yeah, so let's click on that. And if we now go back to so as you can see, the pings are going through now. Right. The reason why the pings are working, because remember that currently this switch is pinging from its uh, point to point IP, the 0 0.2, which is directly connected to the 40 gate. So the 40 gate knows how to route to it. Obviously, if we initiate the same ping from the test piece, now it's going to fail because, you know, it's one hop further. And at the moment, the 40 gate doesn't have that route information. So what we want to do is add that route information in um, in OSPF and then re-advertise it back to the 40 gate and then we have full end-to-end -end root routability. So just to test this, this theory is let's do the same test on the PC. Right, so as you can see the ping is failing there. Yeah. So what we need to do is so what we're going to do on on the switch is we're going to go into configure edit protocols and the protocols it's pf and we're gonna say set interface oh sorry edit area zero to a show set interface irb.10 and we're just gonna add it as passive commit and quit let's see if this maybe already gives us all right so as you can see now i can actually root all the way to the google dns Let's quickly just run a command on the 40 gate to see what's in the routing table on the 40 gate. 
And then that command is get router info routing table call. All right, so as you can see, we have this t static which we configured. Yes. Then we have the connected routes. Yes. And here's the OSPF learned route 192.168.100. Yeah. And as you can see now, we've got full routability between the network root 48 firewall. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hope to see you in the next one.